Hi everybody and welcome to Morning Coffee Break. Well, I did it again. All right. Today is Wednesday, July 12th. Currently it's 73 degrees. High today is 89. No chance of rain and winds at four miles per hour. And we got to mow the grass today. So it would be a hot day. I don't know. It always seems like it's the warmest of the day that you have to mow. So we'll get it done. I take breaks, a lot of breaks. Yeah, I have to. Today there'll be another Kroger haul, but what we did was we had to go get some uh, prescriptions and we had to wait. And that's always a you know we can't just sit there so we walk around the store and we saw some some deals that I had didn't see the other times that I was there um and uh, got some really good deals we it's not a, a huge haul but it's some really good uh, specials they had uh, so fantastic deals okay not for sure what's for dinner because, you know, I keep saying, that, you know, what we're going to have, and then I might have it the next night, or, you know, or we might end up getting something out because it's so hot, or or change our mind about, you know, we might fix something, you know, who knows what. So, so I'm not really for sure tonight what we're having. Um, but I do have a taste test today. And if you've seen on the thumbnail, it's on our uh, Doctor Enough, our local uh, soft drink. And the makers of Doctor Enough are Tri-Cities, Tri-City Beverage Corporation. They're in our, our town here. And um, they are the ones that made uh, Mountain Dew. They were the original you know, makers of Mountain Dew, and they sold it to Pepsi for something crazy like $10,000 or something. And then they've been, I'm sure, regretting it ever since. But, um, yeah. If you ever see one of the old Mountain Dew bottles that shows the hillbilly on it, that's when they were first coming out with them. That was, it would be from Tri-City Beverage. I don't know if Pepsi ever did any like that. Um, but chances are, if you see the one with the, he's got like a, a jug, a little hillbilly on it, then that's probably when uh, when they made it. But uh, they've had Doctor Enough since 1949. And um, it's just a, a local favorite. This is the herbal. They've got regular, and it's kind of like, um, kind of like 7-Up. That's about the best way I could say it. It kind of tastes like 7-Up. But they've got like, uh, this one's got ginseng and guarana, but they've got like, uh, it's got rich in vitamins, and I think they've got like some minerals or something in them. But uh, back in the day, uh, a lot of people would drink these, the regular ones. They didn't have these uh, for a long time. Uh, this was something fairly new to them, really. I can't remember how many years they've had this, maybe 30, 20 or 30. Um, but the other they've had, like I say, since 1949. And um, people would drink it when they were hungover, <laughs> basically. I mean, it would make you feel better and uh, just take care of a hangover is what a lot of people would say. And it just it's, it gives you a little boost of energy. I like, the, like I said, I like the herbal because of the ginseng and guarana. Uh, but it's probably got it's it's made with real sugar i'm sure yeah pure sugar um i was trying to see anything down there it's yeah ginseng and guarana okay uh, uh here's the nutrition facts it's gonna have a lot of sugar in it but i don't drink these hardly ever <clears throat> i used to drink a lot of them but i don't i don't anymore I, it's like a treat when i get some and by the way, I you I looked it up. You can find them on uh, Amazon, but they're expensive. They had a, a case of them, but I I didn't go to try to find the price of it. And they had four packs for something crazy, like thirty nine dollars or something. But
but they're the 12 ounce bottles. I got a different bottle that's more like a long neck. It's bigger than this. This is 10 ounces. But anyway, it's got 145 calories, no fat, no sodium, 37 grams of carbs is 12%. It's got 37 grams of sugar and 37 grams added sugar is 74%. Um, no cholesterol, no protein, but uh, vitamin B1, thiamine is 190% and B3, which is niacin, is 70%. So, and it's got, like I said, something, something happened and that was a fridge. Something must have fallen or something. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so let's try it. I much prefer this one to the, the green one. It has, I don't know if it's green gra uh, glass or if it's... It, it would be colored like Sprite or something, 7-Up, I guess. But the other one has a green bottle. But I love this stuff. It's got cherry. It's got a cherry flavor to it. And like I said, it'll give you a little boost of energy. So I can always use that. So they're delicious. I, I mean, I love them. I love the, the herbal ones best. But I just don't get them very often. Here they're about. They used to be cheap at grocery outlet. They used to be like three forty nine for a six pack of these. Uh, now they're four forty nine. They've gone up a dollar since the pandemic. Before the pandemic, they were three forty nine, which is cheap, pretty cheap. Now they're four forty nine, and they're even higher other places like Food City or something. They'd be even more. And at Kroger, <clears throat> they're expensive at Kroger too. But still not as expensive as on Amazon, but I don't know what the deal is with that. Okay, um, we got some today's tidbits. Pilot charged for illegal Wyoming National Park landing weather blame. A helicopter pilot faces up to $10,000 in fines and a year in jail for making an illegal lakeside landing in Grand Teton National Park, Wyoming. Pilot Peter Smith said bad weather forced him to land and he was in, within his rights to do so under Federal Aviation Administration regulations. This incident took place on June 24. I, I mean, what, you know, I don't see the big deal. Why, you, you going to arrest him when he, he's... He didn't just land there for fun, you know, or try to, I don't know, you know. Looks like when he told him right then, this is what happened. The, the winds were awful. I was, could have wrecked, you know. I should have just said, oh, okay, yeah. Really? What, would they rather him, you know, crash somewhere? Okay. This giant star spectacular supernova may occur in our lifetime. According to a new unpublished study, the giant star Betelgeuse, Betelgeuse in the Orion constellation may explode in a spectacular supernova within our lifetime. Studies suggest that the star has fuel left for less than 300 years before its fiery demise. The explosion may cause bright layers of gas and dust to shine for several weeks on Earth. Now, uh, how's that going to be within our lifetime if it's 300 years? I, don't, I mean, I don't believe I'm going to live that long. My goodness. How's, how's that in our lifetime when it says it has 300 years left? <laughs> okay. Shark scares prompt swimmers ban at Massachusetts beaches. Da, 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 da. Due to multiple shark sightings and attacks, swimming has been temporarily prohibited at certain beaches in Nantucket, Massachusetts. The Great Point Beach in the Cascada Code 2 Wildlife Refuge is currently closed for swimming beyond mile marker 5, where recent shark activity occurred. Shark activity will be continuously monitored. And by the way, I did get my tooth fixed there. Yep. 
I was there for two hours though. I mean, it took her two hours, but she started, um, I guess she saw some things she wanted to do on, on a few of the other teeth. Um, like she used this thing to like, I don't know if it grinds it down. It wasn't a drill, like a burr thing, you know? Uh, and she was taking it and smoothing it around. And then I got that new piece put in. Hopefully I won't have any more trouble with it. And I have my appointment already for my next cleaning in November. So I've never done that before. Every time I go to the desert, I'm like, I'm good for a while. Then I don't go back for a year or two, you know? So I just went ahead and made an appointment. So that'll pretty much make me go. I mean, I hope I don't I hope. The only way I wouldn't is if like my, um, if my infusion or something was uh, that day or, or something like that, you know, which I don't think it is. So anyway, I'd have to look. That says pretty far ahead. Make sure. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, so I'm real happy. I just hope it doesn't come off again. Okay. During a visit, it says, man accidentally captures UFO in selfie at Mexican sand dunes. What are the odds, you know? I mean, you're taking a selfie and there's like a, a, a UFO photo bombing your, your selfie. <laughs> During a visit to the dunes of Bilbao in Coahuila, Mexico, I can't pronounce it, a man unknowingly phot photographed a UFO while taking a selfie. Ramiro Navarro initially missed the strange object in the background. Upon closer examination, he, be he became convinced it was a UFO. He shared the image on social media, and many claim to have seen similar sightings in the area. Yeah. And let's see if we got we got time for. If I can find it ever. Here it is. No. Let's see what this says. One more extra. Okay. Let's see what it does. Okay, it says mindful breathing benefits. Mind and body learn how to get started. We've all experienced days when where nothing seemed to go in our favor. The house keys couldn't be found, coffee spilt on our shirt, and the car had a flat tire all before 9 a.m. Yeah. Whatever the situation, conventional wisdom has long encouraged us to take a breath during these moments of stress and overwhelm. Yeah, if something happens like that, you get stressed out big time. I get anxiety. For those unfamiliar with the practice of breath work, this may seem like overly simplistic advice. Given that breathing is a fully automated physiological process, it isn't something that most people put a lot of thought into, particularly in Western culture. However, a growing body of scientific research is verifying that controlled mindful breathing delivers myriad benefits for both body and mind. Okay, it says whether you call, choose to call it slow breathing, breath control, mindful breathing, pace breathing, or breath work, the practice involves deliberately controlling your breathing, often by counting the length of your inhalations and exhalations for the purpose of changing your physical, mental, and emotional state. Okay, it's really long after that. Hmm. I don't know if this is a, I don't know if that might be a, more like an ad. How about this? This sounds interesting. Hidden self-portrait of Vincent Van Gogh discovered behind painting. More than a century after his death, Vincent Van Gogh is continuing to delight art enthusiasts with new masterpieces. Experts at the National Galleries of Scotland discovered a never-before-seen self-portrait of the late artist while x-raying another of Van Gogh's paintings, Head of a Peasant Woman. 
before putting it on display. When head of a peasant woman uh, completed in 1885 was loaned to an exhibition in Amsterdam following Van Gogh's passing in 1890, the side with the self-portrait was covered with glue and cardboard for framing, possibly because it was considered less finished. The piece changed owners several times before being donated to the National Galleries of Scotland in 1960. I guess this is the what they found. Uh, in a video interview with the institution professor and senior conservator Leslie Stevenson said of the finding, when we saw the x-ray for the first time, we, of course we were hu hugely excited. Such a major discovery happens only once or twice in a conservator's lifetime. Uh, her, cons her colleague, senior curator Francis Fole added, we have three works by Van Gogh in the collection and then suddenly we have potentially another, which is probably the most exciting of all. So, that's neat. Okay, I don't have any uh, quote of the day today, so that's going to be it today, everybody, for Morning Coffee Break. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. All right, everybody, check out the Kroger Hall. More fantastic deals uh, later on today. So, everybody, I hope you have a great day, and God bless.